Genetic testing can really be conducted at any age. It requires a small sample of blood, only about a teaspoon. The genetic testing is designed to detect abnormal protein structures in the heart that control the electrical channels in the heart. These channels allow ions known as potassium, sodium, and calcium to flow freely back and forth across the muscle wall of the heart. This is how the heart creates electricity and it's the electricity in the heart that tells it when to beat. In a certain number of circumstances, these conditions lead to unstable electrical rhythms that can be life-threatening. The situation in which you would want to get genetic testing really comes down to two. One is when a child has had an apparent life-threatening event. Uh, they've been found unconscious, they've had what looks like an apparent seizure, or they've had a documented cardiac arrest in an episode from which they were resuscitated that they would have died. The second circumstance is one in where a family member has a similar condition and the concern is whether or not the child has the same condition. Typically we check first degree relatives of all affected patients. That means that we check the brothers and sisters and the mother and father. Most of these traits are inherited in what's called an autosomal dominant pattern that means that half the kids are likely to have the condition. Knowledge of the specific genetic defect is becoming more useful clinically. That knowledge allows us to anticipate what the natural history for an individual patient might be and we can anticipate future problems. It also helps us decide which medications are best to treat the condition. Mm -hmm.